Magazine 34.7. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to make an ATC. It's true, and I'm actually using my ruler. I'm not measuring per se. I'm trying to draw a straight line. Did I say trying? Yeah, trying. And I'm just using the, I don't know, whatever number drawing pencil. And I'll be erasing frequently and using a big fancy drafter's brush to brush off the eraser crumbs because everybody knows if you blow on it, it you can actually blow spit on there and you don't want spit on your art now do you? Because I don't. And if you brush your hand across it, you could actually be smearing your pencil. And you don't want to do that either. So, yeah, hence the uh, drafting brush. Thanks, Dee Dee of Coffee and Art in the Morning. Uh huh, uh huh. I appreciate that kind of tip. And this AT, ATC was for a Grumbacher uh, Facebook group swap in November of 2016. And a theme was to pick a theme from the prior themes list. <laughs> Think about that one for a second, if you will. And I chose Art Nouveau because I like Art Nouveau. I do love Art Deco. But anywho, um, so yeah, I have a uh, Dover book and I was just looking at the images in the Dover book and found this one and thought, well, I'm just going to draw, sort of draw that one out. So yeah, mission accomplished. Well, <laughs> sort of, kind of, mostly. So when you do a lot of erasing on cardstock, it kind of changes surface. So when you go over uh, your drawing with the black pen, it will kind of absorb differently on the more erased parts. So you might get a little, well, they call that bleeding, just a little bleeding. Maybe. Maybe not. I think the same thing sort of happens with water. Any kind of paper. We're, we're going to say any kind of paper, okay? Yeah, that's what we're going to say. And we're going to color with uh, Prismacolor pencils. Oh, I'm erasing the lines. Paint pencil lines. And uh, I hate that. He can, y'all. And um, <laughs> I started coloring, coloring pencils and I forgot to turn the camera on. So her face is all colored up. And now we're just going to do her hair. So... Yeah, and it's kind of early in the morning and Johnny's sleeping. Of course, I've been awake for hours and it's just now 6 a.m. and I've been awake for hours. I've been, awake. I've been up since like 2.30, 3 o'clock. Yeah, sleeping. I've been up sleeping. So anyway, that's why. Oh, look. Actually, she's kind of pretty. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cut her out. Oh, not yet. We're going to finish, <laughs> finish penciling on her. Which is silly because I'm going to cut her out. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Um, I like to use the white to blend in the colors because I was using a uh, red and or an orange and a yellow. Now we're going to cut her out. You can see I'm being very careful, staying on the lines, cutting around her long pieces of hair there. I'm going to be putting her on a piece of scrap uh, watercolor paper that I had, uh, oh, we're re-edging. Anyway, I have a piece of scrap uh, watercolor paper that I painted up over at Christchurch at one of those paint-ins and uh, I liked it, but I don't like it. I really don't want to do it. I didn't know what I was going to do with it then. You know, we were just kind of goofing around. So, set her on there, and I think I'm going to use that part. And there's my ruler coming out. So, I'm kind of bow measuring and uh, drawing a line because I kind of want that part. And, you know, you should always cut bigger, 
you know, in general, so you can trim down later. Yeah. And I did get that sort of cut a little wonky. But I ended up getting it fixed because the official size of an a official ADC is two and a half by three and a half. And you can either do a portrait style or a landscape as long as it measures two and a half by three and a half. Because that's the actual size of a playing card as well as baseball cards. And that's what the ATCs are sort of mimicking, you know, but you trade them. <laughs> I'm trying her on. So I'm going to be adjusting her oval there. I'm trying to match up that sort of circle-y thing on the background. I said trying, y'all. Trying. So I didn't like the ugly thing, so I cut that off. And then, uh, yeah, I end up cutting off her little hair bangy kind of area. And I said I'm going to use this other piece of cardstock. Oh, I'm fixing to cut off her other bangy thing. That hair sticking out there. See? There it goes. Well, I'm trimming it down. Then it's just totally going to be on. I know this is practically a struggle from the get-go. And to think, this is a, like a nine and a half video. And y'all didn't even see me do a background. I mean, you know, come on. I piddled with it for a while. And, uh, Finally, I think I got her the way I want. I think the background's okay. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and glue on our back. These are pre-printed and pre-cut backs. I sign number, stamp my purple door, which y'all get the, the pleasure of watching me stamp my purple door icon on there. I uh, tend to make the back slightly larger so I can trim them down. So I get a good, nice, good, nice, a nice, good uh, fit around the edges. And we're going to ink up the edge. And time to glue our face on our Art Nouveau face. Smashing it all up with Woody. So they'll be happily married, all those layers forever. Well, this is plan anyway. And trimming up that little edge. I'm gonna round over the edge with quarter rounded or uh, punch corner rounder punch corner, not quarter rounder. Oh, there's the purple door. There's the. Uh, it's a three different corners. It's a Fiskars. And uh, round them up. Then I'm going to ink them up. And uh, we're almost going to call it done. Almost. Get a little closer now. Because I thought, let's put some blingy on there. So I have these um, star shaped black back gems. And we're going to glue them on. I used my Aileen's because it's my favorite. And I smeared the. Uh, the glue around there so I can, yeah, kind of get the stars here and get the stars there. Stars are everywhere. So anyway, uh, once I got this finished, I went back to uh, look online for where I'm supposed to mail the ATC to and uh, lo and behold, I discovered that the swap is already over. It was over before I even started this ATC. Okay, so that's why it's called Oops. The Oops ATC. So, yeah. Thanks, Grumpocker. My bad. <laughs> so now I have this ATC just hanging around. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And, happy arting, y'all.